What is up, guys? It is T-Man back again with another episode of Chase the Championship. So, uh, we're gonna be playing once again with our funky little Ultra Beast team here, and we're gonna be seeing how this team does, uh, I might be playing this team a little bit longer. Um, I think it's a pretty cool team, and I do want to explore some of the mons on a little bit more, so, uh, we're gonna play with it for a little bit. We're gonna get a rated 1609 rated player here. So, we're gonna get a team of Garchomp, Gyarados, Tapu Lele, Magnezone, Marowak, and Feramosa. So this is a fantastic matchup for Incineroar, if I can put it in the right spots. It deals with the uh, latter half, like the uh, the later half of the team, very, very well. The Magnezone, the Marowak, the Feramosa. Um, I just need to keep it out of Feramosa's way. Um, how am I going to deal with that Gyarados? I think the best way is probably with Tapu Bulu. I think Tapu Bulu actually has a fairly uh, decent matchup here. I definitely also want to be bringing Salamence because of the opposing guard chop, and that's probably my best out to it. So, in that case, I think I actually want to lead Salamence top of Blue with Incineroar in the back. And then I can probably bring Faramosa. I think Faramosa is decent here. It allows me to hit Tapu Lele, Magnuson, guard chop by outspeeding it, which is sometimes very very important the alternative is Zerka Tree which I can tail glow with and then knock out the Marowak I think I need to get too much going to set up the Zerka Tree so I'm gonna leave that behind and I'll bring the Pheromones instead see how that does This team could have a few moving parts on it in the future episodes. I might, uh, you know, experiment with some of the slots, maybe the Parasect slot. Uh, I still think the Guard Chomp's a little bit annoying to deal with, but, you know, through creative ways, we are able to deal with it. So, I, I compare Faramosa to Greninja in the fact that I have no idea what the heck it's gonna do. It could poison down my top of Bulu, it could have Ice Beam, it could have U-Turn, it could have Lunge, it could have High Dump Kick, it has so many different moves that it can do. It can be physical, it can be special. What is it gonna do here on turn one? Is there any way to cover all the options? Probably not. In which case, I probably just want to protect and I'll switch to probably Incineroar. I think that covers the most most options. It gives me a fake out pressure next turn. The only problem would be if the Gyarados were decided to go for a Dragon Dance. He's going to switch out though, so that's solid. As you see Marowak come in, so I think he actually might have gone for the Ice Beam just bringing in Marowak in this situation. Uh, which is a pretty good situation for Incineroar to be in. Fermosa gonna go for the use turn though. Let's see what he decides to bring in. Um, Fermosa being not on the field is actually the optimal situation, so I'm not gonna complain about that. I think Gyarados is probably his best switch in here. It's just going to bring in the Garchomp, though. It's not a bad play. I can go for a Draco Meteor into the Garchomp and then go for a Darkest Lariat into the Marowak. I think that's a pretty reasonable play with the fact that Grassy Terrain is up and he can't just switch and go for an Earthquake. I want to go for Draco Meteor and Malicious Moon Salt. I want to know that I'm picking up this knockout on the Marowak. As Guard Tom's the one going for the death. So I'll get the knockout onto the Marowak. That's guaranteed, pretty much. Unless he's like Jolly, which is not. Okay. So we'll get the Moon Salt off, which is nice. We'll get the knockout here. Um, either Mon coming in is not something I want to see in this situation. Either. Marowak or no, uh, Faramosa or Gyarados. 
The far most is mostly just scary because I don't know its full moveset. So I am gonna need to make a switch this turn to play what he brings in. The Gyarados. Okay. So I can switch out into Tapu Bulu and go for a Draco Meteor. I think that's my safest play. I know I outspeed the Gyarados because of Intimidates on turn one. So I think we're just gonna go for the Draco Meteor into the Garchomp and we'll switch out into Tapu Bulu. I also have my own foremost in the back, and I could switch out Tapu Salmus into Tapu Bulu if you're in a Dragon Claw. And then keep Incineroar in, but I really think I have to switch Incineroar out, so I think I'm just gonna go for the Draco Meteor. Yeah, if I'm also switching in on the Guard Salmus slot, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for me. So, Dragon Claw's gonna connect with Salmus, and that's gonna be enough to pick the knockout. Okay, and what did you go for? Waterfall? We went for Dragon Dance. Alright. That's what we want to see. That's okay. So we can still play around this. I think he's gonna do. If I had to, like, make a guess, I'd say probably poison jab on the top of blue. I need to check my speed. 102, so I am bulky. So I am I'm the guard chomp, I'm the top of blue with this guard chomp poison jab, so that's good. I need to horn leech the Gyarados here, I think. I was just gonna put Wood Hammer into it. Let's do that. I wanna make sure I'm knocking this thing out. Guard Chomp use Protect, so that's good. Show me the waterfall. There we go. So yeah, Wood Hammer will be doing a decent amount here. That should pick up a knockout. Yes. That was fantastic, that turn. Alright. So he has his own Pheromosa. Yeah. So, so we get to play this lovely game. Let's go for a high jump kick. High jump kick into his Fermo, so. I am very well aware that this could go very badly. Cause he can just high jump kick me and I'll go down. But I I really can't switch in Incineroar either. I'd have to go for a double protect. I think I just have to risk the speed tie. Go for horn leech. Fermos is gonna poison jab. That's another type of Bulu that's going down. Alright, so I connect with high jump kick. I'm gonna knock out the opposing Fermosa. Good. But that means that Garchomp probably takes me out with a Dragon Claw. That'll be my guess. That's going down, so... Oh, and Grassy Train just ran out. <laughs> so, yeah. Incineroar is, uh... Not in the best of scenarios right now. I, I underestimated the, uh... The damage of Guard Chomp on Su Salamis earlier on in the game. That was really bad. But yeah, 
without grassy trainers, maybe we'll just pick one out. Okay, single target on the Incineroar. That's a good game. Yeah, that, that was a poor play on my part there. I could have just gone for a, uh, a switch on to the top of Bulu, like I suggested, but... That is, that's information for future, since I did think that you could live the, the Dragon Claw, I was mistaken. That is alright, though. We'll get another game with this team. Um, like I said, I want to just kind of experiment out, experiment out with a little more of these mods, a little bit more games. Yeah, the Parasite slot's very good since it helps me deal with Trick Room specifically, but outside of that matchup, it can kind of be uh, disappointing. It just helps out of circuitry, though. Alright, we got Eevee Mancy, so we're going to see the team of Tapu Fini, Smeargle, Eevee, Espeon... Sandcastle and Clef. Alright, so this is a Incineroar game. Incineroar is how I deal with this, since I have to basically lead it, and if he leads like Smeargle Eevee, I call the double protect and just go for Darkest Lariat. So yeah, let's lead Incineroar for a Mosa, and then we'll lead, and we'll bring what? We want Tapu Bulu in the back, for sure. That hits Sandcastle, that hits Tapu Fini, that'll hit Espeon relatively hard as well. I think I want Parasect, I think the redirection will help. I don't really see Zerkatry doing too much here. Yeah, and the Mence is generally, like, not going to be doing too much. Not a lot of zero physical attackers. That should be all special attackers, so. Since it is Eevee Mancy. I'm sure most of you know what Eevee Mancy is, but uh, what Eevee Mancy does is it allows you to, uh, you know, set up your Eevee and use Extreme Evo Boost, the EVZ move, and boost all your stats to plus two. And then you just Baton Pass or Psych Up stuff, and it's not fun. I want to fake out the Smeargle. Go for a U-turn off the Palace Hand. I have in the back, that's a good question. Double Blue Parasect. Alright, I'm gonna Darkest Lariat. I'm gonna Malicious Moonsault and Protect. So I think that Smeargle is going to be protecting here. In which case, I want to break through the Protect. There we go. So, I'm not sure if actually my... Attack gets dropped. I'm actually not sure. I don't think it does. But I guess I'll find out. Because I'm going for the Malicious Moonsault into the Smeargle so I can break its Focus Sash. And then I can KO it with Baramosa. That was the goal. And then hopefully I can just start to slurry out the Palo uh, the Palo Sand. Okay, so I do get the attack drop. Accuracy is fine. Evasion Fall is great. Alright. So I'm gonna switch out to the top of Bulu then. And you turn off the Smeargle. Ideally, I'll get Incineroar back in. Since the fake out pressure is really, really nice to have against this kind of team.
Oh my god, he's going for the, uh... Okay. This is Water Shuriken with... Water Compaction. And it's Weakness Policy. Okay. So this is Scary Sandcastle. Thankfully... Darkest Layout... Ignores Defense... Boosts... I'm fairly certain. So we should be fine. But I also don't want to switch in. Yeah, I really don't want to switch in instant aura here. I'll bring it in fresh later. Bring in Parasect. Uh, if he decides to go for like Psychop shenanigans, I can always Rage Powder the Psychops, I believe. I go for Amnesia. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's the end castle. So, it's plus two attack, plus two special attack, plus two special offense, plus three defense. And that's Psych of Tapu Fini. Absolutely. Can I Rage Powder Psych of? This is the question of the day. I guess I will find out. And if I can't, I'm going to be a very, very sad boy. Alright, so Tapu Fini's going to switch out. Such a Clefairy coming in. So I'll be doing like, at least 50% of this. Which is good. Solid. Alright, I dig it. And he goes for another Amnesia, so he's at like... Plus a thousand now. It's okay. Palisand was destined to live forever. Apparently. Clefairy goes for Protect. I'm going for Woodhammer and Spore. Earth Power is going to do, what, 50%? A little more than that. The critical hit, that's why. I am not intelligent. Alright. So we're going for Woodhammer. We're going for Rage Powder. It, is, it has been a very, very long day. And, uh, yes, we, we will make silly kinds of mistakes like that. Please don't make silly kinds of mistakes like that. But yeah, now he's down to just Tapu Fini and Palisan. That's no, no damage. Alright, I just need to knock out Tapu Fini now. Tapu Fini needs to protect. Alright, Sandcastle, what do you know? Apparently just Earth Power. So if Fini has a spread move, I'm gonna be upset. But if it's Muddy Water, I guess I'll, like, be fine still. So it's Muddy Water and I'll heal back up with Parasect as a dry skin. I just need to get damage on the top of Fini now. So I'm gonna get uh Thermosa in. No, he doesn't, so he just uses Moonblast. And we'll see how much Woodhammer does. Uh not in terrain and top of Phoenix is pretty bulky, so we'll see if it's a knockout. It is! Alright, that's nice. Critical hit. Uh it might have mattered. Definitely not going to say it didn't, but very possible. Parasect hanging on with two. So my whole game plan was that Darkness Layout ignores defense boosts, which I'm fairly sure is true. And we're going to double check that. 
Yes, target stack changes don't affect the attack's damage. Alright, beautiful. Alright, yeah, we're fast in this too, so this should be game. This should do at least 60%. Okay, oh, parasite, but that's okay. Framosin. Hit anything with Framosa. Hit Darkest Lariat. Take that W since we're not losing to Sandcastle. It's a good day. I have a feeling he's sitting there like. How did I do so much damage? But yeah. It's an order cool like that. That's a cool thing about Darkest Lariat. That doesn't come up very often, but when it does, it's pretty cool. But uh, thank you very much, guys. I'll be back uh, next week with another episode of Chase the Championship after the New Year, since I will be in Dallas all this weekend. So uh, thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you then. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe in the meantime. And uh, thank you very much.